so hi this is neshwin from the energy and resources institute new delhi and uh, i'll be presenting an overview of our uh, power system modeling work with pi psa for the indian power system uh, so uh, this slide uh, basically comprises of the motivation or the need for carrying out this work uh, <clears throat> So uh, India plans to install or integrate a lot of uh, renewables uh, into the grid. We have a target of 175 gigawatt by March of 2020, uh, of which we have already installed around 85 gigawatt. Uh, uh, also, like India plans to increase the electric vehicle penetration substantially. Uh, now, this could have a substantial impact on uh, the load curve especially in terms of ramping requirements, uh, etc. So ultimately, uh, the purpose of carrying out this work uh, or this exercise is to better understand uh, the RE integration issues, uh, issues related to system planning and system operation. Uh, we also wish to understand the role of different types of uh, generators, the role of storage. Uh, we want to address uh, coal flexibility in uh, the context of the Indian power system, as well as uh, transmission adequacy. Uh, we uh, did realize that the same model or the model with the same temporal uh, spatial resolution may not be sufficient to study or address uh, all these issues. Uh, so we uh, plan to develop an interregional model, uh, interstate as well as an intrastate model. Uh, now I'll be talking about uh, only the third part of the work that we are currently undertaking. That is, uh, the interstate model would be used to develop analysis for uh, the ETC project, uh, the Energy Transitions Commission project for the year 2030, and we would be using uh, the interregional model for the year 2050. Uh, I'll just uh, touch upon the current uh, generator complexity. Uh, the generator constraints that we currently have are the minimum and maximum generation level uh, for generator, the ramp limits, the minimum generator uh, downtime and the uptime. We have some energy constraints for generators that have uh, uh, that are influenced uh, based on the season, for example, hydro, whether it is a runoff river or it has a reservoir. Uh, we have some uh, limit. Uh, we have some energy constraints on the availability of domestic gas, or the limited supply of it. Uh, similarly, we've also added constraints uh, to model uh, generator outages as well. Uh, currently, we model like one state as one node. Uh, although some uh, small states or neighboring states are, cl are grouped together to form one node, and uh, we cluster multiple lines. Uh, between any two nodes. Uh, so at the moment, the total number of generators that we have are more than 900, depending on different scenarios. And we run a one hour timestamp uh, for a day snapshot with a four hour look ahead and it's done for uh, the whole year. We, uh, we modify this slightly when we run a higher uh, temporal resolution run. Uh, so I'll just, uh, so this is a slide of the, the overview of the workflow. Uh, most of the raw data that we have, uh, so we have our load profiles which uh, we obtain from the system operator or POSOCO in India. We have uh, generator technical data from CA. We have uh, time series uh, generation uh, or RE profiles uh, from NSRDB. Uh, so basically this uh, raw input uh, or, the, or the input data uh, along with the assumptions help to formulate our different scenarios and uh, these files are basically transferred uh, to the Pi PSA framework uh, which has an option of adding extra functionality which were not, uh, some of which are not uh, uh, available by default uh, in Pi PSA. So ultimately, uh, the output data would be used for uh, uh, the online data visualization and uh, data download. Uh, 
Now, uh, you have uh, one minute, uh, uh, Nashwin. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so uh, we also have, uh, we'll also basically make freely available the uh, code that has uh, carries out various analysis for uh, our different scenarios. Uh, so I would just like to touch upon why we decided to go for an open source uh, tool. Uh, the first point was because uh, the cost of a commercial software played a significant role there. Uh, but more importantly, we made it uh, like the addition of modifications is quite simple in uh, in this tool, and more importantly, we wanted this model to be reproducible while being like uh, transparent at every stage in the workflow. Uh, due to uh, the due to this model being computationally quite intensive, we could not uh, we unfortunately could not use an open source solver. We uh, went in for Gurobi. So although uh, this results, we are, we are in the process of finalizing the results. I have not presented any of those results in this model, uh, but we have some, uh, I just have a few snapshots of the type of visualization that we have. I think I'll end here. Thank you. Okay, uh, questions, people? Can I ask, uh, therefore, um, about the, uh, the, okay, Tom, Tom's got a question, so I'll, I'll defer to him. Did I understand correctly that all the input and output data will also be made available with an open license as well? Uh, so, uh, although the input, uh, so the output data will definitely be made available. Uh, we're talking about uh, all the line flows and uh, all the other output data, but uh, we are currently speaking uh, or in in in, uh, in discussion with uh, uh, the Central Energy Authority and POSOCO or the Ministry of Power because this data was available uh, was made available through an NDA that was signed to them. But I think we we would manage to eventually convince them to uh, to make this uh, freely available, uh, citing the need for more organizations to carry out uh, such uh, research. Thank you very much. Can, can I ask, uh, did you assess uh, the, the community that was around the various open source tools that you chose? Um, because I think community is actually a very important part of, of, of the, uh, choosing, choosing a particular um, model or, or data source. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, it was quite funny actually, but the, the, we were aware of uh, uh, Pi PSA for quite some time. Uh, so your question is why did we decide to go for uh, go, uh, to use Pi PSA, right? Well, that, my question was a little bit more general than that. Did you did you assess the community uh, aspect of the project before you selected Pipesa? Uh, so we uh, so uh, like uh, answering the first question, the reason we uh, use this software was because. Uh, we were actually a part. Of, we we were a part of a, a presentation that uh, Dr. Tom Brown presented in Delhi, uh, under uh, one of these GIZ uh, conferences. So that was the reason we were aware of it from 2017. Although the work was done from 2019, but uh, we planned to like uh, we there were multiple models. For example, the European as well as the South African model was freely available. So uh, and. Uh, uh, Dr. Brown's team helped us in uh, integrating or adding some uh, additional code that was required. Any more questions? I think it's about time to wrap up anyway, so that's great. Thank you very much, uh, Neshwin. Uh